Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Amanda and Lincoln, and we live here in northern France. This week, spring made itself known to us with a big F you. Like, we know you're here, spring, but please take it down a notch. I feel like we got a lot done this week. We had the, the tree man here. Yes. And he did some incredible tree work. Before we show you what he did, we need to go back to last April when we had a big storm rip through, taking down a couple of big trees. Thanks again, Spring. One of which fell onto our power lines, leaving us in the dark for several days. This tree has been leaning precariously onto another and we've been afraid it would fall onto the road, possibly injuring someone. Do you know how hard it was to find someone who was willing to cut this tree down? We had a few people show up, give us estimates, and never return our calls. But this man did.
Lincoln works hard and wants his skin to look and feel as if he hasn't worked a day of his life. That's why we're excited to have Forio sponsoring today's video. Since we live in the middle of nowhere, Lincoln can't get to the spa as much as he'd like, but that's changed with the Forio UFO3, a deep facial hydrating device, giving us the benefits of anti-aging spa facials in just two minutes. So what's the secret? The UFO combines four things. Thermotherapy, a gentle heat that prepares and softens the skin for absorption of the active ingredients. T-sonic pulsations, which leaves your skin smoother and reduces the look of wrinkles. Something Lincoln is self-conscious about now that he's a moderately successful YouTube personality. Cooling cryotherapy. The intense cold is healing, rejuvenating, and soothes the skin. And LED light, helping regenerate skin from signs of aging. You can choose to follow a routine on the app or access eight treatments at the push of a button. Today, Lincoln is using Glow Addict for enhanced brightening with vitamins and jojoba oil. The masks increase skin moisture by 126%. If I'm able to pry the UFO3 out of his hands this evening, I'll be using Call It A Night, a revitalizing and nourishing mask with ginseng and olive oil. Forio is offering our viewers 30% off the UFO3 plus an additional 10% discount for the first 50 people that use the coupon code LONGORD10. This device is rarely discounted, so grab this great offer while you can. Just one minor casualty, see? So if you come in here, see? Whoa. He cut it up. Okay, so what are we looking at? The trunk of the tree that was precariously leaning against the other tree. Well, it was a tree that had three parts and it was all rotten. It had, had um, mushrooms growing all over it. Yeah. One side fell and took down our power lines last year. The other one fell this way and it was leaning on another tree. And other people told us they were gonna have to take down four trees to take it down because of and how precarious it was. One of those trees was my favorite, which are the um, purple leafed trees. Yeah, and I can't yeah. remember what they're called, but they're my favorite, favorite trees. And so we had this guy come out and he basically <laughs> climbed the tree. So just so where we are, this is a, um, a little area we have and the chateau's over there. So this is a nice little lawn area that we sort of come out in the summer and hang out in. This was a massive tree. Yeah. So you can see the, yeah. the tree, it's just, it's, it's basically hollow in there. But look, look at the size of this. This is what's left. And if you remember, this was like this. Yeah. Now that he cut it off, it sprung back. Yep. That's usually what happens. Yeah. It's amazing. So this tree over to your right. Yeah. is the one that 
took down our power lines right. and it's still I think our fiber is it's, it's under it. Well, you're right near the fiber line. Yeah, I know. I uh, need to cut a, a slice out of it to get the fiber yeah, we need out to get from the under it. But we almost feel like the fiber is safer. Yeah. The tree, but it's, this is uh, what's left of it. We have no shortage of wood. You know, I was in Paris recently, and they had these benches in a park. Yeah. And they sawed off the top, and they were just... It was just a flat top? Yeah, so I'm thinking... Well, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. That would be really this would nice be. to take a couple of these and create natural benches around, around something the property. Something like this, it has to be really big to be able to take the top off exactly. and you're not sitting too low. <laughs> yeah, so this, this would be perfect. Why don't you try it out? <laughs> okay, quite nice. <laughs> no, really. I mean, if we just saw the... I don't even know. This one looks... This, this could probably be just as is. <laughs> as is. It's unbelievable what they can do, these guys. This was just one guy in a tree. Using ropes. Using ropes and one guy beneath him. Some deer out there looking at us. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to move. Yep, there they go. Back into our forest. It's been so rainy. I wonder if we should play the, the rain drinking game. Every time you hear me say rain in this vlog, take a sip of your favorite beverage and see how you, how you end up at the end of it. So we're about to give the donkeys some um, bananas and go check on them in the, in the wind. They seemed to be fine. They were they were lying down. You yeah, know, they're used to this, I think. <laughs> yeah, they are. They grew up with this wind. <laughs> so the forecast said 55 kilometers per hour. No, miles per hour. Oh, miles per hour. Yeah. So we need to check the fence over there as well. Yeah. Sorry. Hi, Uvea. Why don't you put, hold it in front of them, see if they don't lick it. It doesn't go with banana, I no, guess. No, banana and salt. <laughs> salted. Well, salted caramel and banana is delicious. a little high for them, right? I can't even hear you. This is a little too high, I think. No, it's not. You think that's okay? Oh yeah, they can look. They can reach that. Well, I, I know, but it's not. No, that's fine. All right, I think that'll work. And it's under the Hi. Hi. top there, yeah. so the rain won't soak it away. Yeah, pretty much. Melt it away. Yeah. So Dominic is chasing Avea. Lincoln just went to check the electric fences uh, to make sure there aren't any trees down on it. It's just this weather is just un unbearable. 
I'm staying here. I get, I get a little nervous when they act like this. I know they're just kind of riled up right now, but they're really heavy, <laughs> heavy donkeys. most of today because we are expecting more rain it just it's been raining non-stop so we're trying to get the grass mowed and hopefully I can get some bulbs in today and finish a couple of garden beds so we have a lot to get done it started to rain just when I was making some headway it says nine minutes the rain will be over I think it's right look at those clouds over there So I think that was exactly about nine minutes and the, the rain is just about stopped. Looks like it, yeah. Back to work. With so many old slate tiles lying around, I use them as garden markers. So this is the hard part, trying to decide where to place everything. And obviously I have to look at the packages to see how many meters high each plant is. So I'm thinking of dividing the bed. Um, I have a little marker here and I think I'm probably going to plant cosmos back here because those tend to get really tall. I mean, dahlias get tall as well, but I thought they'd be nicer towards the front since I'm going to have more of a mix of, of, um, of plants. Enzo, 
So my other thought was creating this bed with all white flowers and then my other cutting bed over there, which is a mess, um, in the, the colorful plants. So I have to decide what I'm gonna do. Today's Easter. In my family, our tradition is to say Loppy Lobster. Loppy Lobster. Instead of Happy Easter. That tradition started with my grandmother who wrote us an Easter card and she had the worst handwriting in the world. <laughs> she wrote Happy Easter, but to us it read as Loppy Lobster. So ever since uh, that faithful Easter day, <laughs> we now say to each other, Loppy Lobsters. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.